Welcome to part two of our interview with my mom. Hope you enjoy it. Do you have a favorite episode? I think I would have to say my favorite episode was the calf, where you you and David tried to save the life of this little, little baby cow. I always thought it was the Christmas Carol. Well, the, the Christmas Carol is one of my favorites, too, because your brother was in it, yeah. Do you want to tell the story of how Jeffrey ended up on the show? Jeffrey was about three when the show started. So over the next couple of years, you became, you know, so recognizable, and people would stop you on the street, make a big fuss over you, and and they would pretty much ignore your little brother, which it turned out later he, he actually preferred. But at the time, your dad and I were kind of concerned that, you were getting all this attention and he was getting nothing. And at one point, one fan made a big fuss over you and then turned to him and said, are you anybody? You know, and he was four years old. So we got concerned about it and thought, you know, maybe this is going to be a problem. And at the same time, your agent had met your brother and was dying to get him to work because he was little and cute and could read. And you'd had you'd been so successful. So your dad and I discussed it, and we decided, let's see if we can get Jeff just to go up to the set and be an extra in one of the shows, so he could see that he'd done it and understand that it was an option for him. We didn't care if he did it or not, but we didn't. We wanted him to feel good about it. The extras got twenty five dollars a day for just for showing up, and a lot of the Walton kids, siblings, would come for the day. And so a a script showed up where John Boy graduates from high school. And so there's an audience for the graduation. And so we said, this would be perfect for Jeff. He can just go up for the day and get $25. And he'll see himself on television. And that'll be the end of it. Then the question was, how do we get him to do it? Because he, he had no interest in it at all. And he loved his school. He didn't want. He never wanted to leave school. I t- I talked to him about it, and I I told him that you wanted him to do it. I said, Cammy wants you to do this because all of the other kids, their their brothers and sisters, are going to be there. And and I said, all you have to do is sit in the audience and clap. And he said, well, he said it's all I have to do. And I said, yeah. And he said, well, okay, I'll do it for Cammy. So. I told I told you, I said, get your brother apart in the next episode. I thought you knew that all you had to do was go to the assistant director and say, put my brother on the extra list. Apparently that was not clear to you because what you did was you marched into the production office and went to the secretary and said, I, I want to get my brother apart on the next show. And she said, oh, she said, anything that important should go right to the top. And she took you into the producer. The producer later told me, he said, she stood at my desk and he said, and her nose came up to the top of my desk. And she said, I want to get my brother apart on the next show. And I said, I didn't even know you had a brother. Tell me about him. And she, you know, described him. And But I didn't know about any of this. And a day or so later, the agent called and said, the Waltons want to see Jeff. And I said, what? I said, why? It's just going to be an extra, you know, and they said, I don't know, they want to see him. So, and, and we were living in Orange County. I mean, taking Jeff up to the set you know, was a half-day commitment. So, but I did. I took him over to the set, and the director was Alf Shaleen, another tall, really good-looking man, and we were out in the back lot. The director came over to Jeff and described this scene with where his little boy comes to school and goes into the schoolroom and has a, some dialogue with John Boy, and and he says he, he describes it and says to Jeff, can you do that? And and Jeff stepped through it and did it just fine. And then Elf said, that's fine. Would you like to do that? And Jeff said, no. <laughs> so Elf looks up at me, and I'm going, I don't know what's going on, except I know Jeff is going to think I blindsided him because I still thought it was just an extra role. And it turned out that they were writing a role for a six-year-old. And when Cammie came in and said, I want my brother to be in the show, they said, well, sure. You know, and they, but we need, we need to see him. We need to be sure he can do it, you know. So I just said to Alf, I said, it'll be okay. I'll have Cammie work with him. <laughs> and, and he said, fine. And so then Jeff did do it. But um, I can't remember what, exactly 
how that all played out. But I remember, like, I remember, like, okay, Cammy, you know, Jeff, you're gonna have to say some, li- you have a couple lines, but Cammy will help you with them. I just remember him looking at us like, I've been, like, tricked. Of course, he and, thought that. Why yeah, wouldn't he? Yeah, and then I remember practicing it in the living room, like at the ottoman. I remember, like, okay, and then you do this, and, and it was really about the same as me bossing him around in some other game, yeah. and him just kind of dutifully doing it, but with this, like. This is so not what I signed up for. <laughs> it, it took two days of work because Richard had some kind of a conflict and Richard couldn't be there on the first day or whatever. So anyway, he got paid for two days. And so instead of getting $25, he got SAG minimum for two days, which was several hundred dollars. So after it was over, I said, did, did you like it? And he said, yeah, it was fine. And I said, do you want to do it again? And he said, no. So as far as we were concerned, it was over. And then he got his check. And he changed his mind, got his check, and he said, I think I'd like to do this. But he said, I'd like to do commercials because they make more money. Now, how he knew that, I don't know, but it, that it was true. What do you remember about the Ferris wheel episode? I remember going out there, and they had a stunt double for you. And the stunt double, it was at night, and the stunt double had this long red wig on and long nightgown. I just come up and I saw him and I thought it was you. Then whoever it was, I thought they were smoking, but you told me later they were chewing tobacco. It was your double and I thought it was you and until I saw saw him spit tobacco. Did you worry about me in that episode? No, I didn't. Somebody wants to know, how did you ensure that I didn't fall into the trap of being a child star? I remember the first time it it kind of came up was the homecoming. And because we lived in Orange County, we had actually moved up to a hotel in Hollywood because you're so little. And we we thought it was the only thing you'd ever do. So we thought, well, we just got, you know, three weeks and this will be over. And you were just, had just turned six. And you'd been thrown into this arena with all these other kids who were older. All the kids were smart. You don't do this if you're not smart. And, you know, they were very vocal, and it was a completely different environment. And you were in the... I was getting you ready for bed in the hotel, and you were in the bathtub, and you sassed me. And I remember that I said, Cammy, you can do this show business stuff for as long as you want to, as long as it's not too disruptive. I had no idea how disruptive it was going to be. And I said, but... If it changes you from that sweet little girl that I've known for six years, I will take you home so fast it will make your head swim. And I remember you remember you nodding and nodding, and I started to say something else, and you said, no, I got it. You said, if you say any more, it's just going to go in this ear and go out this ear and go right into the tub. <laughs> so I stopped talking. And it's, I think that's really the only conversation that we really had about that. Okay, someone is asking why and how I got the name Cammy. I wish I knew. <laughs> I think it, it came from your, your grandmother, your dad's mother. We were struggling with names because we originally had wanted to name a girl Allison, and then Peyton Place was big in the mid-60s, and it was kind of racy for from the mid-60s, and, and the star's name was Allison. So we thought maybe maybe we shouldn't really name this child Allison, but we couldn't come up with a name because we were sure it was going to be a boy. And then there, there you came. So it had been almost a week, and we were getting some trouble from the authorities that we had to name this baby. And uh, I, think, I think that it was your grandmother that came up with the name Cammie, and uh, we liked it. We thought you looked like a Camry, but I wish I had a better answer. I should make one up. <laughs> Thanks for watching and be sure to come back for part three. Hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video. A big thank you to everyone who posted questions for my mom on my Facebook page. If you aren't following my Facebook page, there's a link to it in the description below.